Ginny, why don't we ask your sister Barbara to go out with them? So they came over and, you know, they said, how would you like to meet Tats? That's where he was when I met her. Who told you about her? Uh, Bobby. He showed me her picture and I thought she, she was awful cute. And, uh, but I thought she was awful young too. Uh, it was a Saturday, I remember distinctly, and I was 17. Dad was 21. And he was on a leave. He was home on a leave because he had all this time built up from when he was in Korea, you know. And so they would send him home for a while, and then he would go back to New Jersey. Then they'd send him home again just till he used up all his time. Mm -hmm. And that's when I met him that, during that period. I didn't know him when he was in Korea. Mm -hmm. I didn't know him at all until Uncle Bob uh, said that he was home, and it was during Thanksgiving time that he was home. So. Um, but the first time you met him was at It was at house. my own house, yeah. I was cleaning house. It was a Saturday ritual, you know, cleaning the stove and <clears throat> so... So you knew he was coming? No. I didn't know he was coming. No. I was just, you know, scrubbing the stove. It was a big old black stove and you used to have to really rub it with steel wool to get it clean. And uh, so I got the front of my blouse and actually got real dirty. But I continued to, you know, keep cleaning the stove. And the doorbell rang, and uh, I could see from where I was in the kitchen through the hallway to the front door, and it looked like a soldier. Well, I had just met a soldier. He was from New Jersey also. And he came to, through Rochester, and I had a date with him. That's all. So I thought it was him. And uh, then I looked again. I said, Wow, that guy's handsome. <laughs> I mean, not that the other one wasn't, but Dad was really handsome. I ran into the bathroom because I knew that must have been Bob's brother. And I was trying to clean the spot off of my blouse, but I couldn't get it off, so I came out. And porch like? Pardon? Porch. In the kitchen. Came out the kitchen. Came out from the bathroom into the kitchen. Oh. How did you get introduced? Remember how you got introduced? No, I don't remember. All I know, All I know is I, I was uh, spellbound how beautiful she was. So I've seen a picture, but the pictures didn't do any justice. He was very handsome in the uniform there, i got to say. No, I mean, you thought you, you looked bad yourself as it stoked. Oh, yeah, I did. And you thought I you looked good, so. <laughs> I did. What but, year was that about, you know? 1951. He always came to the house. He was there every night at 7 o'clock. Okay. Every so, single night at 7 o'clock. Dad was the most best-looking man. Everybody said it, and I couldn't wait to show him off at school. I hate the way she used that past tense. <laughs> <laughs> who, who was your best friend back then? Do you remember, or one of your best friends? Richard always was my best friend. Do you remember who your best friend was then? Okay. My best friend was Gay Montani, and Dad's best friend, like he said, was Richard Patron. Richard was in the service at the same time too, and he was coming home on leave. And Gay and I had such a great friendship that we knew everything that each other did, where we were. She'd spend time with me. My mother called her her adopted daughter. But she was going to be true to her boyfriend. So Dad got on his knees and said, for the sake of President Truman, will you just go out with him once to the show? <laughs> and that's how they met. <laughs> oh, really? All I know is we went to the town casino the next night. We saw seen her, and Cole. Seen her favorite, uh, her favorite uh, entertainer. Did he sing too young? We right? spoke, yeah. Yeah, he said, yeah. He We sang spoke to him. He was at the bar and we went up to the bar and said, You know, I can't believe I'm seeing Nat King Cole. You know? I said, I love when you, sing, you know, you, you sing. I said, I love that too young. He said, And I said, This is our. Honeymoon. Wedding honeymoon, you know, so he got up and sang it for us. Hmm. That was very nice. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds oh, really nice. Don't forget. But I got to tell you one thing that was really strange. We were walking on Carter Street right past my house 
one day and um, Ted said, uh, you know, Barb, he said, someday I'm going to marry you and we're going to have five sons. And so when he went back to uh, the base in New Jersey, he wrote me this letter about that again. He said it again.